so let's install this software and let me first install the jlink uh, software pack so this software has to be installed first otherwise the stlink replasher won't work fine let's click next i agree next all right so it is installed and uh, two applications found that can be updated with uh, these things and uh, let's uncheck all these things not required okay and click on finish fair enough now let's go to the stlink reflash what we have downloaded this is the archive so let's extract it here it is and here just launch this software and before launching uh, unplug your board from the pc so i'm unplugging it let's launch this and click run type a and again type a and here it is so upgrade to jlink so we have to now so connect the hardware back to the pc and after that just upgrade to jlink just type one and press enter here it is the firmware being upgraded so it actually encountered some problem no issues so let's try once again so let me unplug it run a a and let's connect the hardware and one all right so you can see that the firmware is updated right let's wait until it finishes installing device driver so your device is ready to use that is great so now the jailing firmware is running on your board after that close this all right so after that go to your software and go to target and click on start recording now here click on usb and give the target device name just type Cortex M4 if your microcontroller is using M4 or if you are using M3, M7 according to your processor details. So provide that name here exactly in the same fashion. And after that select SWD here and after that uh, you can select 8 megahertz here. So this is basically the debug circuitry's uh, clock speed. This is actually 8 megahertz or 8000 kilohertz and after that you have got a couple of options here auto detection address search range now let's try with address now basically we have to point to the address of the rtt buffer from that it will read and here I just mention the address so what is the address so this is the address isn't it so let's copy this and paste here and then click ok failed to start recording the rtd control block not found so why is that so if this is causing problem then go to target again start recording then go for search range that means you have to mention the range the software will automatically search where exactly the rtt block or buffer is present in the ram now let's give the search range now let me start from the base address of the sram that is two zero 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 right so this is actually the base address of the RAM. Now what is the size of the RAM? It is actually 112 kilobytes. The size of the RAM is actually on my microcontroller. It is 112 kilobytes. So that's why I would give 112000 range. So I'm asking, I'll start from here and search up to 112 kilobytes. Now let's see what happens. All right, so system view overflow events occurred. That's okay. You can click okay here and here it is So the software is updating in real time, isn't it? Right? So you can stop it if you want and here it is So all these are the events which we got from the board regarding our task execution And if you want to continue then you can just click on start recording once again and click okay and it will start updating here it is so basically the buffer is of length 8 kilobytes isn't it so once that is filled so what happens is it will uh, refill that so it is kind of circular buffer now the old events will be replaced by the new events right so it's like that all right so now you can pause and you can analyze all the details here and in the next lecture we are going to analyze this trace and uh, now if you want to go back to the stlink firmware then 
go to your software and toolchain folder again launch the reflash software and here just type a a and uh, restore stlink so just give restore stlink make sure that board is connected and this will restore the stlink all right so the restoration is completed and here you can see that i got my the nucleo interface here great and now let's see whether i can able to download the code or not that's very important right yes i am able to download the code no problem so the st link is restored properly all right guys so try this at your desk and let me know if you face any issues and in the next lecture let's analyze the trace